Hello guys, this is Tony Aguilar again, and we've got another unboxing here that we've been waiting on for a little over a week, and uh, just came in the mail today, and uh, it is from our friends over in Essex Miniatures in, uh, in the UK, in Essex. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, open this up and see what we have here, and these are some items that are going to be in addition to uh, my Valakian project. So um, we've been waiting for these guys, and I ordered them about uh, a little over a week ago. Normally, they're, they ship about, if they ship out like on a Monday, you get it the following Monday. And this was delayed a little bit, so uh, no big deal. We, um, we'll see what we got here and show you guys what's inside. And uh, we'll just get them in the order that they come in here. And this is EMED 18. These are Polish foot axemen. So these are going to be some figures that are going to be for the Polish allies for uh, my army. And, uh, you know, they come in a variety of figures here. And uh, this is a, a considered a fast blade stand. So here they are with their bardiches. And... Um, those funny hats, they almost look like uh, Orthodox priests, so to speak. So, well, it looks like, yeah, kind of, something like that. Anyhow, so there's eight of them. That's EMED 18. Okay. EMED 17 is a pack of these crossbowmen. And uh, these are figures that I'm going to be using for the cavalry stand. So we got lots of knights that we did. Uh, we did some, put these guys together recently and uh, of a mixture of different uh, Essex. And we've got some falcon guys. But I don't have any cavalry. So these are cavalry figures that we're going to use for that. And uh, this is, they're all one pose. The horses, of course, are different. Um, and they are crossbowmen. Four figures to a pack. So, uh, EMED 15 is, I think there's pictures of all these guys online, but hey, I'm just doing the unboxing anyways. Uh, we've got some more cavalry figures that um, are some men-at-arms here, and they have no shields, and I think they're all the same pose. We're going to be mixing these guys with the crossbowmen on the stands here. Alloy seems to be a little soft, but not too soft. And, um, yeah, they're nice figures. They've got some nice chain mail on them. They should dry brush up nicely. Okay, EMED 16 is different guys that also have uh, lances. Uh, these guys look like they're unarmored completely. they got maybe some quilted armor on them. Not even quilted. They're all in one pose. But, you know, there are three figures on a stand, and they're going to have one of each one on each stand. So they'll have a crossbow guy and two lance guys, and the position that they're in is going to be altered so that we have some variety there. All right, now we get to the last two packs. Um, and this is XMED. 11B, and this is a command pack. It's generic Eastern European mounted generals and officers in plate armor on barded horse. Whew, that's a mouthful. So the only figure that they actually... This is interesting because this pack has a picture of them online, right? Um, but they only have a picture of one of the figures in it. And it is this particular fellow right here. Okay. This particular fellow right here, which has, he has shoulder length hair, he's got a mustache, and he's in plate armor. Um, it doesn't show who else comes with him, and what comes with him are a couple of other generals, and a guy even with a sword. I've never seen these figures in my life, ever. Um, this guy has one of those hound, hound skull type uh, helmets, and these other guys have like the later style uh, helmets that they have, so... Um, I guess these are the same pose. And they have capes. So these are definitely, this guy does not have a cape. This guy does not have a cape. This is the pack that I got specifically for 
the Moldavian general. Uh, and I'm probably going to use this guy right here for a guy like Stephen the Great. And I may even sculpt a, um, a cape to put on him. Uh, and they just come with three barded horses uh, as well. That's XMED11B. And then the last pack is another command pack that also had pictures of only one figure on them. And the figure that they had a command pack fig of was this one. Um, and it comes with some of the same figures here. So this is uh, XMED11A. So it's actually the same pack just with unarmored horses. So I didn't know that because the the one with one only showed this figure in it, and this one only showed this figure in it. So, you know, I probably would not have bought two packs of them. Uh, whatever, no big deal. Um, I wish they would show exactly what comes in each pack when they did these to have a more accurate example of what it is you're getting. But all in all, no problem. Um, one of these guys, like this guy in particular, I may use as the Polish commander. Um, I've got probably all the troops to do a later Polish army. And, um, and this guy, I'm thinking is going to be Stephen the Great, only because there's pictures of him with a mustache and long hair and stuff like that, and he fits in nicely. Um, you know, this also could be somebody like, uh, for my Hungarian commander, um, good old uh, Janos Hunyadi. But um, I don't need to build that right now. So there's lots of folks that fit into the shoulder length hair with a mustache kind of a look. And uh, uh, Stephen the Great is one of them, king of, Moldav of uh, Moldavia. So that's what we're going to use with the other Moldavian knights, which we have off here to the side. We showed those off to you guys uh, in one of the painting sessions. So uh, we have all the guys now to do the Moldavian um, the commander and also the the Polish allies for the Moldavians as well. So, okay, well, hope you guys enjoy it. These are 15 millimeter Essex figures, and uh, if you guys watch any of my painting sessions, you will see them come up shortly. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll have more 15 millimeter goodie stuff for you to show you as soon as we get it. Uh, until next time, thanks. Bye bye.